dimension toolbox in dimension toolbox you can give dimensions here by default general option is selected L1 now horizontal vertical and uh, align dimensions you can measure by using this particular options in case of circle you can give radius or diameter you can measure the angle also select angle then select axis and line the angle will be shown to you now if you want to flip it just right click and select alternate angle so that alternate angle will be added A2 you can edit such uh, dimensions in detail view here is the angle you can change it and you can also change the length of line whatever the value you have to put you can put in detail view window press escape to exit from any command here you will see in ANSYS workbench the length will be indicated by L1 angle will be indicated by A1 A2 horizontal or vertical distance will be shown by H1 or V1 like distance if you want to see the distances along the notations then you have to select a display and in front of value you have to check it so that notations and dimensions will be shown to you now in case of constraint you can give horizontal vertical perpendicular or tangency coincidency if we select coincident select it give points it will be coincident similarly in case of a symmetry we need to create multiple lines let's choose symmetry then we have to select first axis I choose this as axis then two lines okay this is how symmetry works for concentric purpose you have to select the center point of a arc or circle you can give equal radius equal length equal distance you can use such type of constraints and in setting you will get the options about the grids so this is how the sketching tab can be used